Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Thursday, January 26th, 2017. For followers on Twitter, please go to CADEX TV. Tomorrow, British Prime Minister Theresa May arrives in Washington, D.C. to meet with President Trump. She will be the first foreign leader to meet with the new president. The Italian insurer Generali said late last night that it has terminated the contract of its chief financial officer, Alberto Minali. The uh, company headquartered in Trieste is currently the subject of bid interest from the Italian bank Intesa San Paolo, as well as rumored interest from the insurer Allianz. Uh, the CFO is going to leave the company on January 31st. He's going to walk away with about $6.2 million before tax, and he also continues to own about 6.7 million euros worth of Generali stock. Uh, late Tuesday night, the Italian bank Intesa confirmed that it is still inva- uh, investigating a possible, quote, industrial combination with Generali, in which uh, they would uh, actually buy parts of Generali to sell off uh, component parts of those acquired subsidiaries for profit. Uh, the difficulty, of course, uh, warned by a Bernstein analyst, Thomas Seidel, is that the deal would be risky and hugely complex and face competitive issues. A number of the competitive issues are due to the fact that Generali has acquired um, about 3.1 percent of stock in Intesa, which uh, is contrary then to Italian rules and laws in having a cross ownership between two companies involved in a merger. So Generali may yet be able to block this. The Royal Bank of Scotland indicates it's taken about a 3.92 billion dollar reserving charge as it prepares to settle claims in the United States that it missold toxic mortgage-backed securities in the run-up to the 2008 financial crisis. The uh, charge the bank is taking means that the uh, bank, which is backed by the United Kingdom government, is unlikely to make a profit in 2016 for the ninth straight year in a row. There was a 5.4 earthquake about 22 miles east of the island of Crete yesterday. There was no damage in Crete. Uh, The quake was actually felt as far away as Israel, where office buildings shook in Tel Aviv. Six people have been killed fighting vast forest fires in central Chile. A giant Boeing 747 super tanker plane has been loaned from the United States to help battle the forest fires, which are Chile's worst in decades. A state of emergency has been declared south of the capital of Santiago. About 588,000 acres have been burned by the fires, with 4,000 people evacuated. Also, Chile, Peru, and Bolivia have been badly affected by flooding in the past week. Uh, Torrential downpours have been battering Bolivia. The capital of La Paz has had uh, over 55 millimeters of rain in the past two days. With a similar picture in southern Peru, where heavy rain has caused widespread flooding in the city of Ica. According to the Peruvian Weather uh, Bureau, heavy rains are going to continue for the next several months with more landslides possible. Yesterday morning, a passenger ferry crashed into a pier in Lisbon, leaving at least 34 people slightly injured. The boat was traveling from Barrero on the other side of the Tagus River when the accident occurred. Uh, There's been no cause established, however, the uh, ferry company is saying that the uh, accident was caused by intense fog, which reduced visibility at the dock. Mexico's leader Enrique Peña Nieto has condemned President Donald Trump's move to build a border wall and once again insisted that Mexico will not pay for it. He said, I regret and condemn the decision of the U.S. to continue construction of a wall that for years has divided us instead of uniting us. Mexico does not believe in walls. I have said it time again and again, Mexico will not pay for any wall. Pieto is due to meet Trump at the White House next week. The Associated Press reported last night that the Mexican president was contemplating canceling his visit. Yesterday, Trump signed an executive order diverting existing funds in the budget uh, to begin to be used to build the wall. The amount of funds in the budget that uh, he can control without congressional authority are minuscule. Congress will still have to approve the building of the wall. Uh, The executive order signing was uh, fairly symbolic insofar as what its actual effect will be. 
That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.